Hello and welcome to The Problem With, the show where if it exists, I can make it into two videos. I'm your host, Discount Nostalgia Critic, and after going through old Maddie B videos for the little bit video, I noticed just how strange the videos Maddie made with Sumarelli are. So, of course I had to talk about them. Maddie made two videos with the Cimarelli sisters, the first being Call Me Maybe parody, released in May 2012, and the second being a Gangnam Style parody, released in October 2012. Only a four month gap between the two. But without further ado, let's take one last look into the life of Maddie B raps as we start with watching Call Me Maybe. If you don't know what Call Me Maybe is, it's a song that was released by Carly Rae Jepsen back in 2012 and was number 2 on Billboard's 2012 year-end Hot 100 chart. I'll admit, however, that the original version of the song by Jepsen is pretty catchy and I did listen to it back when it first came out. So of course, with the song being so popular, it only made sense for Maddie to make his own version, bringing in Cimarelli to help him. We start the video with a clip of Maddie's Someone Like You cover, for some reason, which, according to the title, he made for Ellen DeGeneres? I don't know why anyone would want to do anything for Ellen, but okay. You're the kind of person, like, when you go trick-or-treating and nobody's home, you don't just take the- you take the bowl, you just walk away. <laughs> then the song just abruptly starts, with Cimarelli gathered around on a small laptop, I assume watching the clip we saw at the start. They sing about how much they love Maddie before randomly being teleported to the beach. I love this lip gloss. Hey, that's the one that I bought. What was the point of that line? Why was that there? Who wrote that into the song? It serves no point being in there. What the fuck? So Maddie shows up to this random beach to meet a bunch of strangers he met online who said he could come to one of their shoots and is no one else concerned about this? Uh, usually when a video shows a kid meeting with someone they were talking to online, it ends up with them being kidnapped and it becomes a PSA. That's no good. Or the kid dips and Chris Hansen shows up and says some witty line like, Do you want to call me maybe? Before telling all of the girls to have a seat. From this spot. Where you think Pinch me. What was that line transition? They didn't even finish one before going into another. Hey, we just met you, and this is crazy. Then they do some dance like the Hashtag Sisters, and I'm seeing a pattern here, and I'm not sure if I like it. Whoa, hey, you can't just grab a kid's face like that. Where's Chris Hansen? The girls keep obsessing over Maddie as he tries to tell them that he's, quote, not a baby. I like your hat, though. Thanks, it's Maddie, baby. Nice merch plug. And that's when I'd make a joke and plug my merch, but I don't have any, so instead you can go to shopmrbeast.com or something. Weird flex, but okay. But take a picture, say she's naughty, baby. Again with the grabbing. Am I going to have to put you girls on a watch list? I'm like, yo, even though I'm not grown a big. Oh boy, here comes the rapping. I was wondering when would it get to that. The flow's no joke that you wanna play with. I promise you, Maddie, if you say that to almost any rapper, you'd have more holes in you than Batman's parents. I can see me pulling B2 on tour. You win the cutest award. Where did she come from? And can we mention how this girl has what looks like to be a shoelace tied around her head? I know, right? Here's my number. I'm so hungry, maybe. Did she pre-write that? Just waiting for a chance to give her number to him. This is a My Strange Addiction episode right here. He didn't even answer, and they just took his hat. So, in the end, some other kids invite Maddie to play football, and he runs out of there faster than Sonic, which Seeing these girls, I totally understand why. And then the video ends just as abruptly as it started. 
And although it never set up a sequel in a post credit scene a la Marvel, just four months later, the internet was blessed with a second collab between Maddie Brutal and Cimarelli. So, if you don't know what Gangnam Style is, then you probably weren't around in 2012. Released by Psy, Gangnam Style blew up and quickly became the big song every kid was singing. Or at least trying to sing as the song is mainly in Korean. The song was everywhere, despite being way farther down than Call Me Maybe on Billboard's chart at number 47, you couldn't go anywhere without the song being played or some kid doing the dance. The song spread like wildfire, being referenced in things like SNL, Phineas and Ferb, and even being the main subject in 2012's YouTube Rewind. Rewind YouTube Style! It was the Fortnite dance equivalent of 2012, before Fortnite existed. And of course, with a song that popular, how could Maddie not parody it? The song starts with Maddie doing the famous dance just as a mix between a businessman and a homeless man as the Cimarelli girls look for him. Maddie Gundam Style! Gundam Style! He changes the word Opa in the original to be Maddie, which in context doesn't make a whole lot of sense because in Korean, the word opa refers to not a name, but a term used by girls to address older guys or their boyfriend. But I guess changing it here is pretty good, because I don't think anyone wants to refer to Maddie as their opa. People stop and ask why I'm so fly when they walk past me. I've got this game them feet, but now I'm dressed as super flash. Okay. I guess flashy now means green taxi cab. So Maddie's in New York for some reason, and apparently the Cimarelli girls are his babysitters. I uh, don't know how that happened, but he ran off to do Gangnam Style again for no reason. And the girls go from obsessing over him in the first video to being super annoyed in this one. One has a helmet for some reason, and one has war paint on. Hey, wait! Grab it before he gets in trouble! And that's the main issue here. As soon as someone's away from you in New York, if they don't want to be found, they're not going to be found. It doesn't matter how insane he's dressed, it doesn't matter what he's doing, if Maddie's lost in New York, he's lost in New York. Someone better call Kevin. I also want to know what this guy is thinking. Uh, probably something like, how is this the weirdest thing I've seen in New York City? Mighty Empire, one Jay-Z's empire, no longer his, uh, I run this biz. Ah yes, because New York is definitely known for being Maddie B Raps' empire. Hold up, wait, there's just no way. A New York City building, girl, you must be crazy. Yeah, but why do they have to go into there? What purpose does it serve? Um. The chorus starts again as Maddie dances under a bridge, and if I was a parent, I'd take my child as far away from him as possible. Oh, oh, Maddie, Wait, Maddie, baby. Why are they still calling him that? I spot another gentleman who thinks he can outdance me. Wait, who the hell is this guy? He just gives up the dance battle to some random kid. Maddie's dancing wasn't even that good. What the fuck? What in the world is Maddie? That did not just happen. Trust me, there are much worse people Maddie could interact with alone in New York. There's scam artists, strippers, people dressed like Elmo, Lady Gaga. Get over here or else we're grounding you from rapping. How would you even do that? Take out his larynx? Actually, wait, I would love to see that. Please, carry on. Please forgive me, is that so wait, is Gangnam Style like a drug now? He just can't stop doing it? Is there a Gangnam Rehab? So this Cimarelli girl asks if Maddie could teach them how to do the dance, to which he responds with, Yes, it goes right, then it goes left, then it goes right, right, now reverse the sad, sad. Which reminds me of something. Yeah. 
First you spread your legs, then you put your arms out and go left to right, left to right. Then they all do it and are suddenly addicted to the dance and can't stop. At one point, even asking for help. Somebody save us. So maybe it is a drug PSA, but they do the dance and sing the song before coming together for one group shot and having the song come to an end. So yeah, both videos are pretty bad, but at least they're more creative than a little bit. Like I said in the last video, they can at least sing, but the parodies in the videos are just terrible, serving nothing more as quick cash grabs playing on to popular songs, which honestly I can respect. I still don't get how Cimarelli could go from loving Maddie in the first video to being annoyed by him in the second, but I guess it's not that deep. I will admit, at the time, eight years ago, I did somewhat enjoy the two songs and their stupidity. But eight years ago, I also enjoyed Shane Dawson, so you can see how things have changed over the years. Being as they are, that being quick cash grabs, they're just as stupid and cringy as one were to expect in 2012. And I guess I can't fault them for that. I can, however, fault them for allowing this girl to want to date this nine-year-old kid and wear war paint in New York in the span of four months. But that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time with some more problems.